Stretching across the width of Africa, the southern reaches of the Sahara Desert are known as the Sahel. It's a zone between sand and productive land, which has been severely degraded in recent years by climate change and desertification. But here in northern Senegal, the Sahel is starting to come back to life again, thanks to a little-known Pan-African initiative called the Great Grain Wall. Launched in 2007, it hopes to provide a new way of thinking about the African migrant crisis. I'm Ina Moja, a musician and activist from Mali. I perform my music around the world and campaign for human rights here in my homeland. Ce n'est pas un mur qui sépare, c'est un mur de l'espoir, c'est un mur de la vie, puisque c'est un mur dont euh, la finalité est de créer les conditions d'une meilleure résilience des populations. La grande muraille verte, euh, quand elle sera totalement réalisée, je suis certain qu'elle sera une merveille, hein, une merveille euh, des temps modernes, à l'image euh, de la muraille, la grande muraille de Chine. The Great Green Wall was initially conceived as an ambitious plan to plant an actual 8,000 kilometers wall of trees and plants stretching from Senegal to Djibouti. But that hasn't happened, and the grand idea of a continuous wall of trees has gradually faded. Critics argued that a wall promoted the idea of a barrier against the desert, when in fact it's a much greater region that needs restoring. So the wall has evolved into a vision to green the area surrounding the Sahara with a mosaic of trees and small developments, like this market garden. This has been a shared political vision of African leaders for generations, notably Thomas Sankara, Burkina Faso's revolutionary leader in the 1980s. Now, 20 countries across the region have come together to support the initiative. Eight billion dollars have been given or pledged so far, mostly coming from international partners such as the World Bank, with some funding from beneficiary countries and the African Union. People here live on the very front line of climate change, not in some abstract reality, but in their day-to-day -day lives, they feel the effects of climate change, they feel the effects of desertification. This project really aims to redress this by creating food security for people that are food insecure. And it's not just about food. Every day we see the wider impact of land degradation in the Sahel. The Mediterranean migrant crisis, the Boko Haram massacres in the Lac Chad region, and terrorist attacks in Mali and Burkina Faso. At their root, all of this can be traced to a cycle of poverty and lack of opportunity that is fueled by declining natural resources. There is a link, of course, between the consequences, disons, of the degradation of the soil and the phenomena of migratory. You know that our population, particularly the young, the principal source of subsistence is agriculture. In a generation, there's been a catastrophic change in the environment. The land feels dead here. There is no bird song. Nature itself is being extinguished. The Great Green Wall aims to provide new opportunities for communities, not just to survive, but to thrive here once more. Man, bima fi nek, di bay, bo ba grabi yedefa bare, 
Baba Garabi, the Fubare Lon, Mana Alibi, Mandama Daba in Yatisak, Geneti Diton, Diton Egert, Dugup, Moi Angare, Fimunet, Angare Mogo Dunga, Duda, Aki Garab. Places like Gulakum in Senegal are known as the villages with no man. There's a gaping hole in the local demographic. The young men have left to seek jobs elsewhere, as agriculture is no longer viable. It's driving the young away from their communities to seek opportunities far afield. I can see that you have henna on your fingers. So do you do it yourself? Nogesek has not heard from her son for years. He was the major breadwinner for the family before he left. Have you ever heard any news of him? How does that affect you economically? It only takes a walk through the dusty streets here to see whose relatives have made it to Europe and whose haven't. The homes of successful migrants are large properties made of concrete and breeze block. The others are wood and straw, with thatched roofs and flimsy fencing. This is the pull factor that drives many towards that perilous boat journey across the Mediterranean. The man in Senegal is very difficult to do it. They have to do it in the same way. They have to do it in the same way. They have to in West Africa, up to 80% of the population live in rural areas. Youth and employment is a huge problem across the Sahel and a massive driver of migration. Ces populations, particulièrement les jeunes, pensent migrer donc des zones rurales vers les zones urbaines. Et lorsque dans les zones urbaines, euh, ils ne trouvent pas, disons, satisfaction à leurs besoins, eh bien, euh, l'Eldorado de l'Occident euh, devient tentant. As ever, the targets are huge. By 2030, the project aims to restore 100 million hectares of land, sequester 250 million tons of carbon, and generate more than 350,000 jobs in rural areas. Although it's not clear exactly how these numbers will be achieved. It's definitely small beginnings, with the hope of building to a bigger future. The Great Green Wall is a powerful symbol to focus global attention on the problems in the Sahel. It remains to be seen how successful it will be in breaking the cycle of exodus.